Welcome back. This year's spring planting season is well underway and has been pretty favorable for our local farmers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, but 60 inches, we were just trying to control everything out here. That's, it's so funny. But 16 years ago, 16 years ago in 2008, that really wasn't the case, Shelby. Yeah, that is when John David caught up with a few local farmers who were experiencing one of their latest planting seasons ever. It's all part of Flashback Friday, only here on The Current on News 8. Daryl Hofer prepares to plant corn on some 1,300 acres, something he's done for more than 40 years. It could, it could be a tough year. After enjoying a record bumper crop last harvest, this is likely the latest date for him to begin planting. It's sure a bad situation to get started with a late planting and, and wet conditions. Farmers all over the region racing the clock. Crops planted after May 10th will lead to fewer yields, losing about a bushel per day with mounting costs on top of that. We've got less than a week to get her, get her going here. And it isn't just the bad weather that's hitting farmers in the wallet. Costly diesel fuel and fertilizer are making this growing season a lot more expensive. Got her filled up. Veteran farmer Tom Mueller usually finishes planting by the end of April. This year, he's only halfway done. Uh, diesel fuel costs are, uh, you know, uh, double what they were just a couple of years ago and I mean it's just like gasoline and, and fertilizer prices have, uh, have skyrocketed also. We uh, work from daylight to dark and then some. Daryl Hofer tried to make the most of this sunny day, planting before the next storm arrives, keeping the wheels in motion across his field. I'm still not too pessimistic, I, but, but I do, you know, every day that it rains I get a little more discouraged and more concerned about this year's growing season. Different story this year. That's right, but every story is a good one when it comes from John David, yeah. former employee here at WQAD, so living this, legend. This morning in our morning editorial meeting, mm -hmm. I was telling people we had this flashback Friday today, and I said, yep, you'll see him walk towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see him. That's, that's a shtick, I guess yeah. you could say. Yeah, that, that's a classic John David, right? Oh, there. I love it. Yeah. What's your shtick? Uh, my shtick? Yeah, I'm still working one. on that. Still finding that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll Over come back. Over 60 years old, I'm still working on it. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. <laughs>